Do you want to be able to delete your credit card or debit card from your Shopify store? Well then you have come to the right video because I'm going to show you exactly how to do this but make sure that you watch this until the very end so that you don't make any mistakes in this process. So what I'm going to do first is to go into Shopify and then log into my Shopify account and as you can see I'm currently on my Shopify account right now so the first step is going to be to click on settings right here and as you can see, we're now taken to this page right here. And after that, we need to click right here where it says billing. So click on billing in here. And in here, you should be able to see like your payment methods that you have on like Shopify right now. And then what you need to do is to click on these three dots. As you can see, you get this right here where it says replace. So if you want to replace your credit card or your payment method like with something else, then you can click right here where it says replace. But if you want to 100% delete your credit card or debit card that you have on Shopify right now, well, then you actually need to also like completely cancel your like Shopify plan as well, just so you know. So what you need to do is to click right here where it says plan. And just going to load and after that you actually need to click where it says deactivate store and basically like deactivate your Shopify subscription but before doing that make sure that you're 100% like uh, have everything else like uh, deactivated on your Shopify store so if you're for example paying for like apps on your Shopify then make sure that all of those subscriptions are also like turned off and quite often to be able to turn off those subscription you need to go like like the app by app basically and turn it off from there on like from your Shopify dashboard basically so yeah just a reminder that make sure that if you want to actually cancel your store and 100% delete your like credit card or like debit card on Shopify then you need to actually deactivate your store but make sure that you actually deactivate all like this the apps subscriptions and all of these things right here so yeah basically this is exactly how to do so so let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and I will do my very best to try to help you and also please leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel because I'm doing a lot of helpful videos constantly that might be very useful to you thank you very much for watching and I wish you an awesome day